In our previous video, we discussed about additive inverse of a rational number. The video link to the lecture you will find in the description box below. In this video lecture, let's discuss about multiplicative inverse of a rational number. Say we have a rational number 4 over 5. If I ask you what number should we multiply 4 over 5 with so that we get 1 as the product. So you have to get 1 and you have to multiply it with some number. Now instantly you will say that that number will be 5 over 4 because this gives you what? If you multiply 4 with 5 you get 20. If you multiply 5 over 4 you get 20 and this will give you 1. Same thing with any rational number. Let's say that now we have minus 11 over 9. We have minus 11 over 9. If I ask you what number should I multiply this number with so that you get the product as 1. Instantly you will say that 9 over minus 11. Right? So if you do this you get minus 99 minus 99 and you get 1. Right? Because negative with negative gets cancelled and this gets 1. This 5 over 4 in this example and this 9 over minus 11 in this example. These are actually reciprocals of these two numbers. Reciprocals. Same thing for this one. Reciprocals are the multiplicative inverse of a rational number. These are multiplicative inverse. Okay, same thing in this case. So 5 over 4 is the reciprocal, is the reciprocal of multiplicative inverse of 4 over 5 and 9 over minus 11 is the reciprocal or add multiplicative inverse of minus 11 over 9. Why? Because when we multiply 5 over 4 with 4 over 5, you get 1. If you multiply minus 11 over 9 with its reciprocal, you get 1. So any number multiplied with its reciprocal with its reciprocal gives you what? 1. It is true for whole numbers also. It is true for integers also. It is true for rational numbers also. Let's say you're in the case of whole numbers. If I take a whole number and we have discussed about whole number integers in our previous videos. If you don't remember, let me quickly revise it. So if your whole number is 11, what will be its reciprocal? Its reciprocal will be 1 over 11, right? And if you multiply this, you get 11 over 11 and you get 1. So 1 over 11 is the reciprocal of 11. If I take an integer and let's say negative integer, say it is minus 300. So the reciprocal of minus 300 will be 1 over minus 300. If you solve it, you get minus 300 divided by minus 300. Therefore, you get 1. So, a number multiplied with its reciprocal will be 1. Reciprocal is what actually is multiplicative inverse because when you multiply with multiplicative inverse, you get 1. But here is what very, very, very important thing. And that special case is for point or special case is for 0, the number 0. If I ask you, what will be the reciprocal of 0? What will be the reciprocal of 0? You will say that uh, since 0 can be written in the form of a rational number, we can write it as 0 divided by 1, we can write it as 0 divided by 10, we can write it as 0 divided by 100, doesn't matter. Okay, so let's choose this one. If I choose this one, then I can write it. Reciprocal is 1 over 0. And here's the problem. We know that whenever we divide any number with 0, then that is actually not defined. That is undefined. We cannot do this. And we have discussed it several times. So since there is no reciprocal of 0, therefore we cannot have multiplicative inverse or the reciprocal of a rational number. So this is a very important thing. So whatever we have discussed until now, that is for the rational numbers, either positive or negative 
or whole number or integer they should all be like whole number can be zero but you cannot have a reciprocal of zero similarly for integers and for rational numbers also your rational number should be non zero it should not be zero so in general if your uh, if your rational number is of the form p over q then its reciprocal will be q over p or its multiplicative inverse will be q over p and if you multiply this with p over q you get 1 if your rational number is of the form minus p over q that is its negative its reciprocal or multiplicative inverse will be q over minus p if you solve it you'll get 1 right so this was about multiplicative inverse of a rational number